Hey everybody, welcome to Bond Squad. I'm Dan Stacy, and you are about to witness my nerdy family and I use silly voices and exploding dice to tell a good story. And once again, we're still missing David, but we have the sexier dead bod. Never miss an RPG oh, game. Wow. That's <laughs> Shots have been fired. <laughs> I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. <laughs> so yes, we have Austin Curtis joining us, and he is our drawer and he's awesome. And uh, once again, also, we're dedicating this session to our grandparents, especially right now, my grandfather and Zechariah's grandmother, um, who are in a place where we don't know how much longer they'll be with us. And even though they have no idea what we're doing, uh, this is for them. So we're gonna go see Tiri and her party. But first, taking over for David, RPG Murray. Yes. David is not here, so I am going to be doing RPG MRE. And um, last time, on the last episode, we had Trail Mix, so uh, I want to take it up another caloric notch, so to speak. So today we have peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> now the way that I would, um, you, you know, like I, like I did last time, I, I, I consume my food in the way that I like, and the way I like to eat peanut butter sandwiches is with uh, a candy coating and chocolate coating and then the peanut butter in between that. So um, it's a unique take, but it's still a peanut butter sandwich and it has good protein. It has good protein <laughs> and um, it's really just wonderful. It's a very uh, rich, creamy flavor for a sandwich. I hear it's full of fat too. Yes, Which is but really good for you. It, yes, and you know what David always says: fat doesn't make you fat, calories, calories do. do. That's so why you've so got you the can dad eat bodies. one. No, how many can you eat? As many as you want. Yeah, right. Sorry, you got it. We got. We nailed it. Nailed it, David. We we understand. We don't need you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> So mean to David. Like Zach was gone last time and we didn't mention anything about it. <laughs> In fairness, David was also asleep most of the last time, so poor guy. Uh, it's great. I'm based on when this is posting, right now I'm editing the episode where Kristen wakes him up and it's hilarious. I hope you guys have seen it. It's really funny. Thank you for the peanut butter sandwiches. You're welcome. And uh Let's dive into a party delicious episode of Bomb Squad! dive back in and there we go my computer wouldn't wake up time? oh what happened last time um well you guys completely avoided a combat that i had set up that i was actually kind of excited about but i think it was right it happened how it happened and uh we'll see if those guys don't show up some other time uh it's called the dm sent a lot of time making these characters and he wants to use them <laughs> Um, so, 
uh, you guys had been on the road from Nori's house back to Arbon to pick up Audrey and Demeter. And uh, en route, uh, the second night, you had, just as the sun was rising, noticed three figures coming down the road. You began to talk with them. Brick realized that someone was stealing stuff from your cart and started to chase him. The, um, they didn't seem to want to put up a fight. Seemed like they were a little surprised at how uh, able-bodied you all were. Um, although Ilya didn't get to prove in, in a very classic Olympic naked run <laughs> how good he was. <laughs> uh, much to Ingrid's chagrin, because she liked the bald guy with the scars. Uh, <laughs> as you were about to kind of engage, a seven-foot-tall bird creature fell from the sky in a heroic landing as Nori was stumbling out of the cart with some kind of contraption he used and picked Nori up and was talking to him. So you guys got uh, sufficiently distracted. The, the dude that Brick had been chasing threw some kind of smoke bomb and they took off. You guys decided to let them go and uh, see what uh, was going on here. A little scuffle, a little chat, and you uh, convinced the bird man to join you and found out his name is Arkiro. He picked up Demeter. Inger got a letter, which as always, you're willing to, you can read all out if you want, or you can keep it secret uh, <laughs> for now. You got mail. Yeah, so <laughs> Inger got a letter from her friend, a dwarven friend, and- Don't uh, worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. We got to hear all kinds of shenanigans going on at the Taylahe household, <laughs> and so you guys can be sufficiently terrified for what's to come. And uh, there's a lot of pies. That's the, I think, that's the main takeaway. And a dungeon is always there. So you guys are on the road. We're gonna pick up with you guys on the road with Audrey, Demeter, and Nori. And you're taking, <clears throat> your, it's about a two day journey from Arbin down to the Taylor Hay estate, we'll call it, the Gnomish estate. Sure. <laughs> sure. It's, uh, they, the Taylor Hay, space it's about it's like the commune it's like the all mother communes they're there they do their thing and they're usually relatively helpful to the town relatively <laughs> we think we're very helpful yes. so we won't hear otherwise <laughs> um ever since audrey came in audrey has a good relationship with Thierry relatively and mm -hmm. they make the best of what it is so we're going to pop in here. Uh, you have a new bird man with you. Uh, you've heard that his race is called the uh, Scolori. And he's hanging out with you guys, so what do? I want to, like, I want to be sitting next to him and looking at him, and I just... Are we on the cart? Yeah, how do you I guys want to be? I we were on the cart. I'd be walking. We got a couple, got a, yeah, you well, can be, I mean, like, you could be flying along with them if you want. Or flying away. <laughs> <laughs> flying away. In a sa generally safe distance. I think I would want to stay close to Nori. Yep. Because, like, I'm in searching for him. He's, He's in, in the cart car and all that kind of stuff. So it would be just one of those. Maybe we'll do, we'll start with Ingrid. Nori's in your cart with all this stuff. Like, Ingrid already had this cart, which is, because it's Ingrid, it's she can home. pack way more in the cart than you should be able to pack, and Nori just packed a whole lot more. So this is weird amalgamate, you know, there's, there's the toadstools and mushrooms hanging from the ceilings all over, and now there's all this steampunk gear stuffed into every corner, and somehow Nori's figured out how to utilize your, your little pocket dimensions that you have to store things. So he's kind of like forcing things in there and they're like sticking out of the walls <laughs> and stuff. So I figure you guys are probably arguing about space. I am in the cart as well. I have my cauldron out and I am making a stew to bring to the party. <laughs> <laughs> a broth. Okay. Tor Nori is tinkering <laughs> with something uh, down here and he's like, Are you making soup? <laughs> it's a broth. Which is like the main ingredient <laughs> in a soup, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I may have just fallen in love with you. 
Carry on. Uh, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm looking for my ladle somewhere in my dimensions that are stuffed full of other stuff. Here, you can use this. And he throws you, it's a gear that's gotten bent out of shape that kind of looks like a ladle, but it's all bent. Perfect. Excellent. So <laughs> there's smoke. There's a little smoke coming out. You don't know how she's heating up and got a fire going on in the wagon, but there's a little smoke that smells of a nice broth. Uh, roll your... Well, your alteration, I think, for your oh, soup. Yeah, you're not going to actually make real soup. <laughs> you're going to make soup. Oh, oh, this is so bad. <laughs> it always is. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Seven. What's it smell like? What's your, what are your ingredients in there? Um, well, it's very specific. Yes. Oh, I'm ready. So this is, um, and I turned to Nori, this is my mm -hmm. bat wing broth. And it has eye of newt with mm -hmm. some lizard brains mm -hmm. and scales from a rancid sea serpent. Mm -hmm. that, uh, if Brick is on the car, he's going to, no, no. And he's going to get off and just start walking <laughs> next to it. <laughs> no. You'll notice that Ajax is still tracking the, the bird wherever he is and just like scanning dimensions. Then every once in a while it pops over to Iliad. You see he's like collecting all this data. You know, that's really creepy. Well, they don't know I'm doing it. That makes it worse. I... Who are you talking to? To you. <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> you know, I can fly too. That's fascinating. Yeah. For a couple seconds. <laughs> um, actually, you can do it slightly more than a couple seconds. What? Yes. What, what? What? <laughs> I did not say anything. You asked me what. I thought you... It was your... Your, uh... Beak. <laughs> made a... Sound. I... I thought... Uh, I did not say anything. Okay. Good talk. Okay. How long can I fly? Um, well, yeah, I mean... Depending on... The indefinitely, really. Are you serious? Yes, of course. I am serious. I'm always serious. <laughs> <laughs> I find this so much fun. <laughs> Should we scare him? Yeah, actually. This okay. is the first time you've been fun. Really? Why yeah, has don't make it weird. Why not been fun for you? Uh, Who are you talking to? Me! I, all of a sudden... Another voice comes out of brick, but his lips don't move. <laughs> just, <laughs> just arrow right. I in that had the an face. idea. You ruined it. Uh, Who are you talking to? I'm terribly sorry. As soon as you do that, his uh, he had his helmet off. The helmet goes on immediately, yeah. and so there's just this blank metal face. You can almost see a reflection inside of you. Sure. I am. I just. I'm not moving. It <laughs> like, is. A spooky, spooky ghost. I do not believe in ghosts. Seriously? They have magic here. <laughs> ghosts are not magic. I, I, I mean, I honestly don't think it's actually magic. It's probably some, they're accessing some kind of technology or some kind of science that we just, they, they don't realize they're actually doing it. I don't think I asked you. I don't, no, I didn't. Are you going to explain to me what this is? I'm a ghost. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> is that better? Yes. That I'm was starting great. to get the hang of this sarcasm. This what? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Iliad's mm. Iliad's walking along, thing and just kind of knocks on the. Um. Something's going on out here. Maybe it's important to stop. Cause you're nobody's driving the car. Like, I'm just saying nobody's driving the car. <laughs> no, Audrey and Demeter are. Still oh, they are. Oh, I just yeah, figured yeah. Larry was just going. Okay, I like that even better. <laughs> I like that even better. Audrey, let's say Audrey and Demeter are slightly ahead because they know. Well, Audrey knows where he's going. They're having a conversation up ahead. Can Ingrid like still be reading off the ingredients? Like <laughs> this is all going. <laughs> it's getting progressively more disturbing. <laughs> It's Maybe, like but, yeah, yeah, and uh, when, um, no, go ahead, carry on. Did you have more ingredients? No, listed? there's literally only three. 
<laughs> oh, that'd be so good, though. It's actually an inside joke. And if you know what the inside joke is, comment below. Yeah. I'm going put them right here. <laughs> well, you ought to figure it out. <laughs> I know. It's an inside joke for nerds. It's like, it's, it's from something. Old movie. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's an old I mean, movie. Like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 80s? 90s? I don't know. 90s. 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 90s movie. We're, we're 90s kids. Carry on. Um, so I, I peek my head out because I'm concerned for my cop. Larry's doing fine. Um, he's, <laughs> if you guys, you guys would know, like the, the donkey that the lizard who's changed into donkey, he still has kind of lizardy eyes. So they like move in, you know, different <laughs> directions. But even though they do that, they look <laughs> zombie-ish, you know, like so a little disturbing. off all the time. And his tongue is always just and he's just walking forward. Larry just one eye does the like chameleon, looks back and then turns back forward. You're still going forward. Everything seems fine. You do notice that, you know, the bird's pointing an arrow at Brick and they're well, talking. What was Lily talking about? That. Oh, <laughs> whatever. No, no, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, maybe we should do something. No, I go back in and keep working my bra. <laughs> What's going on out there? Oh, they're just having a little hissy fit. Oh, boys fighting. Yeah. yeah I remember Comparing my Comparing sizes, fighting. you know, while oh, they do. Yes. Doesn't matter what race, it's always the same. Exactly. <laughs> he starts tinkering. And your, the cart hits a bump and some of, like, um... Nori's oil or something spills a little into your soup. And that's where the bad roll comes in. <laughs> spills it. Oops. Don't worry. It makes it better. Probably does. He doesn't, he doesn't pick it back that? up. It's just Okay. Um a little bit of this, a little a little bit of oil, a little bit of something from brick ship. I don't know <laughs> yet. Okay. <laughs> Well, it turned into pretty color, so that's probably good. Nice this. You know, this might just be a good party. This might just be a good party. <laughs> Outside, meanwhile. Lord, my guard. Clearly, nobody else is worried that there's this voice coming out of his body. <laughs> yes. It's not his. And I'm observant enough to know, like, okay, if nobody else is freaking out about this, either they don't hear it, or they know exactly what's going on and they're not concerned. Mm -hmm. And so it was just like, okay. Put the arrow back. I'm still gonna keep my distance. Yeah, okay. I'm still gonna have that. Make me fly. Sure. Roll your movement. You got so excited. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Demeter is looks at you hear Demeter call back. They're like a good a couple yards, like 10 yards ahead of you or something. Everything all right back there, boys. Everything so good. is fine. <laughs> that doesn't count. I don't believe you, but keep sure. it up. It doesn't count. It, it doesn't count. Floor. Dang it. Well, what was it? It's 18. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is going to be so two, bad. Two, two, two. Was it two? Got three. Oh, oh it's so close. Hold on, wait. I explode, though. Okay, good, good. Wait, so that was 18. 18, what's flying? I think it might be a five. My computer's frozen. Can you pull up flying for you? Yes, that is a boon, correct? It is a boon. You have it through movement. Flight. It is power level five size. Which is even better. Eight is the highest. Mm -hmm. I mean, lowest, thank you. <clears throat> Power level five is the lowest. So you're like, you needed a 20. It's um, good. Right, you know, um, so what happens is, at, all of a sudden, um, those, there's that orrery on mm -hmm. the back of his thing. All of a sudden, the one side that's the regular jetpack glows blue for a second, and the orrery starts to spin up, and Brick just shoots straight up. Poof! <laughs> it comes back down. Well, you, you've got to control it. It's like, what are you I, talking? I, I asked to you to do it for you. And this is coming out of the speakers. So you hear yeah. him arguing <laughs> himself. You have to. I'm, I'm not going to do everything for you, really. Do then you, what are you here for? I'm your support, obviously. Support for what? I, I can't fly. All right. The, I'm going to turn to Iliad. 
Is he okay? Elliot's eating an apple. He's <laughs> <laughs> gotta be eating all the time. He's eating. Hmm? Oh, yeah, he, he does this all the time. Well, actually, he just started recently, but... Um, started what recently? Uh, talking with two voices. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> oh, that's a good Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> he starts playing with his flute a little bit and just... Well, he's still chewing it out. That's <laughs> <laughs> yes, like a little sloppy. <laughs> Um, Nori, how much longer? Mm, a uh, day and a half. Uh, mm-hmm. But oh, tell me, tell me, friend. And he comes uh, crawling out. Um, so what, what you got for me there? Uh, wh- while we're headed, I, I think I've pretty much finished this little gift, a little tweaking. If you tweak too much, then the tweak goes bad. And you don't want the tweak to go bad because then a lot of things go bad. Indeed. Mm. Mm. I came to find you. There, there is troubling news mm-hmm. from, from the mountain. What do you got? Well, our astrologers, our, our wizards, our, our scholars are detecting changes in the sky. Mm-hmm. Changes that are undescribable. They don't know where it is coming from. Many mysterious happenings have been progressively moving more often. Fireballs in the sky. Streaks of light. Color changing. I went to Pradi to ask them. They did not help. Yeah, I'm not surprised. And so, I came to find you. Hmm. I, came, I needed the riddle artificer. Oh, <laughs> stop it. You have my official title. <laughs> well, I'm always up for a good tinkering. What are you looking for? New scopes? Yes, something more powerful than we currently have, mm. which, suffice it to say, is pretty powerful to begin with. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I've come across some um, new discoveries recently that um, could possibly help us advance uh, some of the things you got. Discoveries like what? Oh, uh, role perception. <sighs> You're gonna do fine. <laughs> <laughs> let's, just, let's just see what number you got. We got snake eyes over here. Uh, I got 25. <laughs> yeah. You get to do like two looks over to Brick. You know, some things just kind of fall into your lap. And you gotta roll with it. Well, and this perhaps. is rolling pretty good so far. The Metal Man. What? What about the metal man? We don't hear any of this, do we? Yeah, you're, I mean, oh. you're right there. Unless you want to keep it quieter. No, I have no reason to. Yeah, <laughs> so they're just outside. I... You fell. Are I've... you okay? Yeah, I mean... I mean, his name's Brick. <laughs> right. Yes. I, don't... I get it. Pretty it's good, not, huh? It's not a joke. Demeter says just... I'm really good at naming things. No, I. I it's <laughs> just... It's a cool name. I it wasn't. Yeah, it is a cool name. I agree. How did you fall? I never fall. I fly. I told you. <laughs> is that what that was? Not that. Back there, but just that was no. I was just. I was He's just jumping. Oh, yeah, I'm just getting some exercise. Sure. Nori, explain. Uh, Hey. Hi. Well, what I was about to say, uh, Brick and I have been working on some things, and as you can see, it's coming out pretty good. You made this. Uh, you made his arm. No. No. The, no. the rolls are saying, <laughs> saying, no, he's not lying. Just... <laughs> Ingrid pokes her head out. <laughs> sort of. He, no. Sort of. 
I... Well, let's just say this. He can't fix it without me. I know how it ticks. The, and then Ajax peeks up. <clears throat> is he, is the little creature talking about cannibalizing our ship more? Yeah. What? So. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's gonna help, right? So look. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. He fell from the sky and it's really cool. And there was a lot of I found tons of cool stuff and uh, it's really, it's turning into quite the spectacle. Wait, um, you're not my dad? Well, yeah, sure. I mean, adoption's a thing, right? You know. You are father. Uh, you know, it's more of a title. More of an idea. A title, but also biological. <laughs> Roll, roll your, your deception. You can roll perception against him. I think that's just the D20. 18. 15. Ah, nice. Can you see through? <laughs> yes, of, of course. Biological. Anywho, I think I can use some of the stuff Bricks brought with him to modify some of your scopes. Some of your stargazers. Oh, and... whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm? Sorry? What? What are you talking about? We do not know what these new phenomenon are. It could mean serious danger for all of us. We need to know what it means. Our current instruments and technology cannot describe it, understand it. We need help. That is why we are here for Nori. If he has any way to help us, we need to do it. Okay, I that need to bring him back. Way. Ajax starts talking to you. This is just, just Brick hears this. Actually, it might not be a bad idea. Look, our ship is out there. Like I said, you only came down in the landing craft. And if it's still active, it's going to be in orbit. If we could find it, Maybe we can figure out a way to get to but it. But how are we going to get to it? Well, one step at a time, right? Get to what? <clears throat> Your home. Well, it is not this way. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Don't worry. Look, just... This is Ajax. Let, uh, let's go along with this. Let, I mean, we're not going to get anything out of that landing craft anyways, other than utilizing what they have available. Who knows what we could figure out? Perhaps if I could get a better look at the stars through some of their telescopes or whatever it is that they're using, I might be able to figure out where we are even. Or even better, mountain home, I think they said. Up higher, perhaps I could get access to the main servers. And then we'll remember. Then I'll have my memories back. I can download as much as I can fit into the hard drives. I've been cleaning up what I can. Let's go along with this. At least that's what I say. Okay, but not What's the your... party. Let's skip that one. Well, that's up to you. I'm just here for the ride. But I made a broth! You are not <laughs> skipping the party. I didn't... I wasn't... I, I didn't you. say... A dad always knows. Okay, that... You're not skipping the party. Okay. Okay. Right. So, how was Prati? I uh, haven't been there in a while. Hate it. How was it? <laughs> <laughs> it is feels it is in turmoil political turmoil not physical turmoil oh dear the tradi traditionalists and the reformists are always combating with one another mm -hmm. there is no give there is no take there is silence when there should be Learning. <laughs> I was not welcome because I sought learning. And so I left. That's unfortunate to hear. As crazy as they've always been, new information's always welcome there. Hmm. This is why I'm not a religious man. Gets too messy. Too messy. Nope, nope, nope. They would not even hear of my new discoveries, of our new discoveries, of the skies, of the changes. They would not hear me. Hmm. Really? I needed the information, I needed help. They would not. When normally, and in the past, they used to. Hmm. It was perhaps because of a change in power. 
Oh, things shifting around there? Very much so. <laughs> Always happens. Oh, well, that's what you get when you mix them. Dragons, dragon faithers. No offense. It is what it is. Indeed. I'm not a religious man. Yeah, well, I, if I had to wake up in the morning and look at that face in the mirror every day, I wouldn't believe in God either. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Would he you? hops back in the car. <laughs> 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 All right. Anybody else before we, we move forward to the party? Okay, and so move fast forward the few days. You guys are arriving. What time of day would you like them to arrive, Terry? What feels the most narratively appropriate? Oh, early in the morning. Parties aren't meant to be, you know, one day affair if you can help it. Okay, perfect. I have a start to this then. You guys are actually getting there. Uh, near sunset, not quite sunset, a nice, you know, four or five o'clock in the afternoon, and you're far enough away from the homestead that you can't quite see it. You just get a kind of a, a horizon glimpse of it. Uh, waiting for you is uh, Peter and Ulysses. And Ulysses just goes, Halt! There's a giant troll and a gnome child sitting on his shoulder. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Metal man, big boy. Mama say, party starts in morning. No closer. What time is it for us? It's like four o'clock in the afternoon. Our... <laughs> Wait, we have <laughs> What? <laughs> but the broth will get cold. I'll keep it on. <laughs> Peter's like, broth? <laughs> what do you mean? Broth. This is wrong. Fat wing broth. A delicacy. <laughs> Still listing the ingredients again. <laughs> <Yeah>. oh, <my. laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, eye of newt, tree mold, lizard brains. Wait, we have to more. Lizard sit brains. Here. And scales All from a rancid night? sea serpent. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, parties always start first thing in the morning. What are you talking? Like sunrise. There's um, an extra ingredient. I don't know what it is, but it makes it pretty color. Peter just smiles, which is never do. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met my grandma? No. Oh. Does mom know you're bringing that? It's a present. Don't tell her. Oh, I'm not going to tell Ma. No. <laughs> you can tell her. <laughs> Someone's going straight to the dungeon. Right <laughs> so, we'll yep. keep this burning all night. Nice perfume. It smells like grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Sleep. It's, <laughs> it's four o'clock. <laughs> Sounds good. I messed up. Are we all ladies? <laughs> it's my bedtime. This is normal. This sounds great. You nestle up. You just hear Molly go, oh, as you push him off the bed and move him over. That was my spot, woman. Does she have an extra voice, too? Yes. Did you make that one, too, Nori? And as you see that, <laughs> no, 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 that was him. And Moloch the black hat jumps out and then jumps on top of the wagon, spins around, and gets comfortable. One eye. Mm. One of you. One of you. Thought I smelled dinner. He nestles back in. <laughs> and it wasn't the witch's soup. Which is delicious! Go to bed. I'm, I, I'm not gonna... Mama says wait. We already wasted three days getting here. <laughs> and we pan away as Frank is complaining. <laughs> so you guys wait, just have to hang out there. Another night. Peter tells you this excellent story about... Um, he explains one of the games you're going to play. What game does he explain? 
Oh, he can't. it's his favorite. He can't describe the pie eating contest. He probably like pin the blame on the bard. Okay, <laughs> it's a poster. It's a poster of the bard. bard. Very indignant poster. Slightly, slightly turning his a posterior toward, it. and you um you pin like fart darts to it. Little <laughs> little 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 darts with like have like a little little cloud of of smoke that poofs off when you throw it. <gasps> and uh, Peter adds in, oh, it's even better when the target moves. Iliad, you, you, can, you can be the, the bard. Yes. And then yes. Like, please, why does this always happen to me? <laughs> Sing a song, bard. I can't. <laughs> just, he just turns around, sits facing away from you guys, and you just hear, <laughs> <laughs> And then he starts playing a song on his flute. <laughs> so um, you have to wait the night. You guys <laughs> entertain you yourself. Get himself to sleep. Lullaby. <laughs> and then uh, the sun sets. The sun rises just over the horizon. And I'm up. Peter pulls out these clappers. Party time! And just starts running towards the party. And... Uh, you guys follow suit, I hope? Uh, yeah. yeah, okay. Can, can I describe, this, describe the estate? Absolutely, what do they see? So, um, you come along a dirt, long dirt road, and off in the distance is a garden estate with strategically placed hedges and trees and bushes with long, drippy floral vines all over it. Um, most of the trees have forts already built to them of different themes and styles. One of them has a, a, a ship up in there, another one is actually like a tower and it's built all the way in. One of them has a rope bridge that goes to the tower at the back corner of the house. Um, the path is lined with gardens of whimsical flowers of every color. There's an occasional little terrace with roses that are growing over it. Um, the house is made of uh, a little cottage style, though oversized and rather tall. It's um, uh, green paneled walls with bright yellow trim, windows of every shape and size, no two of them matching, with a large round one right over the top of the door, and an exquisitely well-groomed, meticulously combed, yellow shag carpet roof. Yellow shag carpet. With a bit of yes. a... And Peter will probably make a quip about it. It has a widow's peak that they haven't quite been able to fix where it hangs down a little bit in the center. Um, <laughs> um, the, um, the house has, um, of course, a, a tower in the back that has protruding gears and pulleys and smoke puffing out of it and a constant tick, 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 ticking as something is happening inside. The house is surrounded by gardens of various and sundry types of flowers and sort of off in the back in the distance, as you can see, there's a couple of other structures on the lawn and a garden set off to itself. Um, when you get to the front door, the front door is um, unabashedly bright red with a large brass gold knob in the middle and a welcome mat in the front that simply reads, welcome home and doesn't completely cover the trapdoor. <laughs> Watch your first step, Peter says, and he jumps over. <laughs> Ulysses comes by. Tiri, your the, friends have arrived. The door throws open and streamers explode out. Anyone who is close <laughs> probably needs to die. But anyway, streamers <laughs> explode out. There's a large bang and trumpet noises and everything is like, Welcome! It's the party! Everybody, every, who are you? <laughs> Welcome to the party! <laughs> come in, come in, come in, watch your step. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. I think two of the, the maybe the triplets take the wagon and park it where mm. it should go. And uh, Ingrid has her cauldron. Ingrid has her cauldron. Everyone is greeted with kisses and, and, and exclamations and handshakes and everything, and a few of you may have a kid bounce off your head as you're coming in through the door. Um, I'm just, I'm just holding I should quickly <laughs> picking them into, the, uh, into the foyer, and you find that the, the hall is tall and very narrow, 
de um, decorated along both sides with columns and draperies that are really, really short to fit the small distance between the columns because it's very, very narrow, very, very tall. There's a couple of coat racks, um, a couple more hat racks, and places for you to put all of your things, which you are, you know, quickly encouraged to do. Many of the kids are already taking them anyway, so good luck with that. Um, <laughs> Ingrid is, like, grabbing her stuff. <laughs> um, I wrap my wings around my body <laughs> so they can't see any of my things. I'm just this cocoon of feathers. <laughs> You're probably having to turn to the side, too, I do. scooch I, through. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I probably don't feel comfortable in this place. <laughs> All the way to fit in this is to keep sliding your way down the hall because you can't quite walk too wide. On the left side walking in is a giant mural family tree with so, so, so many names oh, branching no. and sprawling all over. And then there seems to be a picture on the right side of the wall but it's blocky and square and completely jumbled up and one tile missing. <laughs> you guys can RP it up, you're in there. What? <laughs> to, uh, you probably smell what Ingrid has. Oh my gosh. I made you a present. Oh, are we doing gifts already? Oh. Nobody says from the back. Gifts, gifts are for after breakfast, un unless, <laughs> um, unless somebody needs to um, uh, go go water the garden, perhaps. With with um, what did you bring? Well, <laughs> this <laughs> is my batwing broth with a surprise. <laughs> it has eye of newt. Tree bone, yes. lizard brains, and scales from a rancid sea serpent. Oh yeah, I had a surprise. I don't know what it is, but it makes it a pretty color. You and I start walking back. in and I morph the cauldron so it fits in the hallway. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I just continue. Makes a look over at Nori. <laughs> I can't say anything. I heard your mother Why? would love it. I told she them. Will. You will. always you bring a gift to a gnome party. <laughs> Can I go to Demeter? That's yes. so true, Dory. That's so true. Demeter goes, you're fine. Don't worry about it. I, I, you're fine. Is there a table of food? I'm going to place it with it. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, Tam, show her to the kitchen. That way. Wink, wink, wink. You mean the kitchen? Yes, wink. the specially designed Am kitchen. The kitchen this? prepared for grandma. Excellent. Follow me, my lady. This way. Inside Come. Check. Yeah, you can roll perception. Okay. I just want to see if I know. Um, 18. All right. Nah. No! You didn't make it. No. <laughs> right this way, my lady. Okay. Deception is one of his specialties. Oh, no. <laughs> With a flourish. And uh, <clears throat> as you're walking, you hear boing, snap. And the cauldron gets pulled up into this spider web. And it's floating above this door. Hey! Do, hey. do we all see it? No, you just hear, I guess you hear the noise and maybe you all walk forward to see really it. I worked really hard on that! I mean, it didn't spill. <laughs> that was pretty good though, right? And he's I make a, a hole in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> try to start collecting it and then I'll go for it. I pull my house. <laughs> That's pretty cool, Ma. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> and he runs off. I'm gonna pull my helmet up. Okay. <laughs> um, so I guess we've, we've moved to the kitchen. Yep. Or, or the, kitchen. the dining the dining room leads to the kitchen CB so dining room. Um, so the dining room is a beautifully um, laid out room. It has 
banners streaming from all of the walls and bright shields around the walls. It's a large circular room in this square house, some dead space somewhere. Um, <laughs> the table is a magnificent simulacrum of a giant round table, places for everyone. So, so, so many, so many <laughs> places set. And candles, placemats, fine china for everyone. Um, all of the all of the knives are just nice ornate little swords. All of the spoons are slotted. <laughs> and, <laughs> and there is only one chair. There is a giant wraparound bench oh, with cool. only one ingress at the end, so everyone has to slide into their place sequentially. <laughs> oh, no. That's amazing. Ingrid does have transmutation to fix those spoons. Yeah, I know, I was thinking about it. She might be starting to fix them very <laughs> one by one. <laughs> secretively. All right, you can roll agility and perception to see that, and then I'll have, uh, give us an overlay of the meal and games we play, or if you want to highlight. Oh, um. Breakfast is waffles and pancakes stacked to the ceiling um, and fresh maple syrup and vegetables and fruits and everything is all cooked so sweetly, just dripping with it. Uh, the kids, all of them, most of them, uh, most is all of them as it is, just file, file in and slide 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 in and if you want a spot at the table. Oh my goodness. 21. Yes, 21, all right. Okay. Oh, stand. Um, Brick stands. I'm standing next to Brick. <laughs> so. They're not wait. no one's waiting for you so, to eat the pancakes. Is They're, this, is this, are these, yo, how? <laughs> <laughs> I find it's easier to count them on the family tree than. Where's your husband? You guys have been very busy. Yeah, well. You know, we're Stop. prodigious. No. He's out. To, it's his. It's There's his turn no for adventure. Uh, I, well, yes. How long? I... Children. Six months, dearie, and then a couple for recovery. Yeah. This time for adventure every year. Oh dear. Oh dear. Besides, twins run the family. There's a, um, a few. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Which would be unheard of for you. It'd be unheard of. I mean. I am an only child. Um, I could tell. <laughs> 20 on perception to see if she's messing with the spoons. She got a 21. Yeah. So I, I don't have to worry. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's like a dozen-ish. Easy. Dozen-ish spoons? Uh, it depends Twice. on how well you know. Right. There's definitely more place mess. I guess it'd be easy to count oh, those. Kids. But those, those are going fast. So if you want to grab one. But yes, anyway. Waffles and pancakes keep coming out of a sliding door um, with a kitchen. Every time the door opens up, you just hear a whir of machinery ticking, clinking, clacking, and sometimes things just go flying out that door. Um, there is someone in there. Um, there is someone sitting in the kitchen that's cooking, and they very quickly slam the door shut anytime anyone tries to peek in there for more, unless unless they're actually sent out with more pancakes. Beautiful gifts. Gifts, 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 gifts. I gifts think. Present time. On the next episode of Bomb oh. Squad. <laughs> we'll pick up with presents and then wherever the journey takes them. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you're enjoying the shenanigans. And uh, check out the links in our description below for all the awesome uh, music, sound effects, ambience we're using. Um, and heromuster.com, openlegendrpg.com. And um, check out End of Planar Crossroads on YouTube as well. They're doing an Open Legend actual play. Uh, Adam is running it with his son, and it's really great. And check out all the other stuff they have in there as well. And we will see you next week. <laughs>